Hello, welcome to my video. Today we're going to be using um, Python, Zigbee to MQTT, Zigbee and Mosquito, a MQTT broker, to uh, automate um, detecting when doors are open or closed, or windows, uh, both work the same. The way the sensor works is there's a main body which can house all the electronics, and there's a secondary body which is a magnet. When a magnet is close, it sends a signal saying door closed effectively, um, and when it's apart, it sends another signal saying doors open. So we will be subscribing to those topics in our Python code so that we can receive those notifications and automate stuff. Uh, let's get to it. Okay, so first we need to add uh, the sensor to our Zigbee network. And with this one, I've read the instructions, you just need to hold, there's a slight button on the bottom. You need to hold for five seconds Oh, first we need to permit anything to join, allowing Zigbee networks to be devices to join. So I'm going to hold this button and start blinking. There we go. And now hopefully it should still be. There we go. So it's doing the interview now, just um, working out which model and which uh, sensor it is. There we go. And now it's joined. You can see it's recognizing it as a dual sensor. Uh, so I'm just going to click in and first of all, I'm just going to change the name to be door slash. I'm not sure where this is going to go, so I'm just going to call it new. So I've gone for door slash. That's like a different topic and then new. So rename the device door slash new. And here we can see this contact, right? So it's not got anything at the moment because it's not happened yet. I bring this contact in, see closed. If I take it apart, open, closed, open. And so we're going to, that's, this is the, the um, trigger we're going to be looking at um, for in our Python code. So let's get to the code. Okay, so here we have our empty Python script. Um, in my other videos, you will see that I made a small MQTT client, which is, which is effectively just a wrapper around the Pahu library, Pahu, Pahu, whatever. Um, so I'll be using that. So let's start by importing that library. So from MQTT client, import MQTT. Okay, so then we need to our class client equals MQT client, and we're going to be going online. So we'll say false. Now we have the client. I've just zoomed in again a bit more because I felt like the text was a bit small. So hopefully this is more readable. So we actually just want the client out of this. So there you go. Get the client. Uh, so now we need to subscribe we do client subscribe so this is where we need to get the topic so zigbee to mqtt this is the default um uh base topic that zigbee to mqtt comes with if you've changed it you need to change it to whatever you've changed it to for here but i fear probably well not fear i know probably most people don't and then you need to give the name of the device, which was door sensor new, I think. Door new, yeah. Okay. And then we need to say client dot on message. Equals on message. Okay, so this is on on message is going to call a function called on message, which we haven't written yet. So let's write it. So let's go define on message. And we're gonna passing the client so this is from the documentation what gets passed in the client the user data and the message and what we should just do now this is very similar to the video i did on automating your lights with sensors um, but i'll still do it again here uh, so we're going to print the message okay so what's happening we are uh, initializing the client, subscribing to the topic, and then on message, we're going to fire this on message, 
and we're going to just gonna print the message. And then because this um, is, we want this to be continue running, we're just going to put a while loop at the end. So let's run that code. So here they are, put them together, let's take them apart, put them together, take them apart. And the battery's going a little bit on this one. It's not. Take them apart, together, take them apart. Okay, you get the idea, that's working. So I'm gonna cancel that script. Obviously this is not what we want to see. So what we can do, we can go message topic. We can do print message dot payload. Run it again. There we go. Now we can see the topic, the store slash new, and we can see the bytes, um, which is adjacent with all those various fields. I'm going to take them apart now. You can see, and the one we're interested in is the contact field. So we're going to cancel that. And I'm going to say payload equal message dot topic. Nope, not topic. Payload. Uh, which is my note is what we do. Decode. That's it. Decode. UTF. Eight is what we want it in. Payload. And then we want to import JSON. And we want to say data equals payload. JSON dot loads payload. If data contacts print door is open else print uh, door is closed okay so let's see if this works i've done this fairly quickly uh, so i'm not holding up too much hope we're running together ha. So together door is open apart door is closed we've got it the wrong way around if there's contact the door is closed and if there's no contact the door is open okay um so there we have it we're receiving the notification the updates from this sensor as to whether there's contact or not, and we can tell whether the door is open or closed. Um, the many things you might want to do about this, we could link it to the lights here. So when you open the door, you turn the light on. Um, so like my uh, automating lights with sensors, with motion sensors, um, this is the script that we will be using that video. I'll put a link to it up here somewhere or up this corner. I don't know, it'll be, hopefully it will appear somewhere you can click on it if you want to go watch this video. But these are the two functions that we had th from that script. So I'm just going to take those and dump them here. And you can see that what these functions do. They just publish a message to the MQTT broker to set the lounges where I am, set the state as on or off based on the two function names. Um, so. I guess what you'd want is if it opens to turn the light on. So I'm just going to put here, uh, turn light on. And kind of weird, I guess we, you wouldn't probably want it. The door is closed to turn the light off. Um, but just for fun, why not grounds? Uh, let's do it. Turn light off. And this is the beauty of, of, of why I find it Python like or code uh, scripting coding in general. We have this from a previous function. This is all the logic of this has all been written. And now it's easy to make fun automations based on your previous experience as you're growing. And I found that and this born this out myself in my um, 
automating house journey. Anyway, let's uh, press the magic button. Let's see what happens. Okay, so it's running. Let me put it together. Door is closed. I don't know if you can see that the lights off. Okay, what I'm going to do? I'm just going to turn one of these lights off. Okay, I'm going to open it up. There you go. You can see the light. Come on, turn it off. Eh. The sensor is a bit dodgy, and the battery is going. And open. So that's a whistle stop tour of how to um, receive the messages from a door sensor over the Zigbee network using Pahu, which is the library used with the in Python to communicate with the uh, MQTT broker, which is Mosquito, is Zigbee to MQTT to communicate with the actual devices. Um, the main way I've used these at, here at home is I have kids and they often will go into the back garden uh, or open the front door sometimes to go to get something from the car and I want to know so I've got the sensors on the doors and if the kids open the door I get a notification on my phone um, I've connected it up to the Viber API and that sends me a message over Viber um, maybe I'll come back around and do that at some point uh, but there you go